So Miss Cricket and I are in the woods this morning. We got an inch of rain last night, which we really needed. And since it's not very cold, it's supposed to be in the mid 60s today. We might get some more mushroom activity, which would be really nice. Let's go see what's over here. Broken piece of root. Should we go up to that big rock cricket? Let's go around this way and not fall on our heads, huh? We are trying to leave our property as natural as possible. The previous people that have lived here were not so kind on the property. They got arrested in either 99 or 2000 for making meth and growing dope and all that kind of stuff. And the house was, the property was sold by the state in probably like 2003. And the couple that bought the property then, he died and she did not want it anymore. And the sons were hoping they were going to inherit. But since in Arkansas, when the man dies, the property goes to the woman, which is how it should be in my opinion. Uh, and she was the stepmom. She did as she pleased and the stepsons did not like that, but that's the way the law works. So we bought the property in 2000, January of 2006. So 16 years ago, almost 17. And we have not done a serious clearing or sculpting. We're just letting everything be. We've been planting native plants and that kind of thing, but we have not not had bulldozers here. We've not done a bunch of tree clearing. And we really don't need to. Like the storm we had in June took down so many trees that Josh will be cutting up trees for a long time. And before that was 2009 and that big ice storm. So it seems we seem to have a big storm about every 10 years or so and if you know if a hundred trees come down every 10 years you can't cut all that up you just can't use that much wood at least we can't good girl I like this little section back here on the west side of the property not quite up to the property line and this is where the chanterelles grow really well and farther down the hollow there's some really interesting rocks and stuff ah! just got myself wet But we call our farm Big Rock Farm because we have a huge crop of big rocks. Miss Cricket! What's up there? What's up there? See, it's just off what we call the pasture. See the houses? Right over there. Here's the house. Not even a hundred yards away.
I understand there used to be a horse farm here back in the, I don't know, the 90s. And there was a barn, but it burnt down. I don't know any of the particulars. And this property was obviously part of a timbering operation in the 1920s. And it's been burnt over at least once. We didn't do that. And there are so many trees here with rotten bottoms. That just amazes me. Another big rock. And this big oak came down a couple years ago. And we're just leaving it. We're letting nature take its course. But it was a big tree. I can't reach around it. In my hand for scale. Very large. I kind of stopped coming to this part of the property in the middle of the summer. It stays kind of damp here and the ticks and the chiggers are just horrendous. But this is where the good mushrooms are also. So further down the hollow that way, probably about a quarter mile, there are some really, really cool rocks. Okay, that's my video for today. Have a good day.